Hey, welcome back to Fab Fun. My name's Logan, and today we're going to be pulling T posts out of the ground. We've got some old fencing in the woods that I want to get rid of because it makes it harder to get around on the four wheeler, and I don't want to run one of these T posts up into the tire on the tractor. So we're going to try to use this Spico T post puller that I saw Dave Goodman use at Pale Horse Outdoors. It seemed to work really well for him. So we're going to try it out here and see if it works on really old, rusty T posts. Looks like we've got some barbed wire to clip too. Stay tuned. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you've got a bunch of T-posts like this is get rid of the barbed wire. Now, I've got some side cutters. We'll see how well they work on rusty old barbed wire. Well, not too bad, actually. Try to wiggle some of this stuff loose. There's enough green briars. Oh, gosh. Clip, clip, clip. All right, one more, so this is four strands. Uh, some of this is probably tore down enough where uh, I might run the risk of tripping on it, but here we've got this T-post kind of isolated now. All right, it's been over quite a bit, so I don't know if this is gonna be really good for uh, pulling it up out of the ground, but we can still give it a shot. Let's see how it works. Now, if you've ever used one of these, you might know how to do it. I watched a pretty good guy use it. I'm gonna see if I can duplicate that kind of. It's not gonna be that complicated, I don't think. I mean, it's just got a handle and a little piece to uh, bite in. So let's see which side of the hill this would be better going to be a little bit difficult trying to get the uh the angle right let's not pull it right into my face well it is moving it pretty easy actually so the problem with the really rusty old fence posts is if you wiggle them a little bit to try to get them out a lot of times you'll snap them off in the ground and you definitely don't want to do that because that will bite into a tire the next time you go to go to use a uh, tractor in the area you definitely don't want to be paying for a new tire just because you didn't get a t-post out wow that really is that worked really really well didn't snap it off pulled it up with ease um, it is a little bit I won't say it's dry but it's uh you know there's a little bit of mud I don't know, that might soften it up, make it a little bit easier. If you've got really hard packed ground, it might not be quite as easy to get this up. So let's move on to the next one. First, we've got to cut the barbed wire again. And these uh, old side cutters seem to be doing fairly well for that. those out of the way hopefully so the kids are on the trampoline you can hear them up there maybe you can hear them, maybe you can't maybe about as easy to just take these little hangers off It's funny that a couple of little wires wrapped around a piece of metal is good enough to hold a bunch of cows in. All right, let's try to pull this out of the ground. That one seems to be pretty loose on its own, but again, I don't want to run the risk of breaking it off. So let's see, we'll get a way to, I think it works fairly well when this jaw right here has an opportunity to bite into the teeth. So if I can get the right angle here, Um, maybe. There we go. That might work. 
again, I wouldn't recommend pulling this directly at your face, but you know, if it moves just a couple of inches every time you do this, if you've only got a few to take out, it's probably okay. Actually, not quite loose enough yet. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Another T-post. You know, some of these are in good enough shape when you pull them straight out like this. If you don't bend them in the process, I might be able to use these again. And these are probably 35, 40 years old, easy. I think they were probably installed with a fence that was built after a tornado that came through in 74. So showing some age, but maybe reusable. Let's keep going. Let's do another one. This one's leaned over quite a bit and it's tied into a bunch of brush. I'm imagining if you're removing a fence, uh, it's probably been around for a while, you don't like it, you want to use this T-post puller. Um, it's probably not going to be ideal conditions for using it. In my situation, it definitely is not. So let's see if I can bend this around and get this barbed wire off so I'm not using so many sections of barbed wire that I have to go back and recover. Lots of branches and brush. Uh, you know, I'm sure the guy that put this fencing in wasn't thinking about the guy that would have to fix it 40, 45 years later, however long it's been. So they had cows on the property. I don't know how many. My land's only about 20 acres and not all of it is ideal pasture land. So I'm not sure exactly how many head of cattle it could support. If somebody knows and has some experience with that, Leave it in the comment section below. Tell us how many acres per cow you would need. We've got a couple of goats. Ow, but they're only on about, I don't know, an eighth of an acre right now. But they're dwarf goats, so they don't eat a lot. We have been feeding them hay through the winter. But they, uh, they may end up needing some more grass now that we've got four of them and they're full grown. All right, let's see if we can pull this out. This is kind of on the wrong side of this tree to be helpful. It is a little bit hard to maneuver. And I am bending the post. All right, I'm almost pulling it out of the side of a hill. But it did loosen it up quite a bit. All right, let's go a little bit lower. Pull it again. It does seem to be working. Get another Another bite lower, once you get to a point. Oh no, see this is the problem that I was afraid of. When the little spade flat part gets broken off, I don't wanna leave it in the ground and potentially run over it. But there is enough metal in the ground in a lot of different places. If it's rusted away so bad that it didn't even stay on, and no part of it sticking up above the ground, I don't really feel like digging every one of them up. And honestly, I probably won't bring the tractor through here, but it is important to me to get all the barbed wire down and out of the way so I can come through on a four-wheeler. Not so worried about puncturing anything with a four-wheeler tire, but I do want to get the barbed wire down and salvage as many of these posts as I can. This one probably isn't gonna make it. Now, as we're following the barbed wire, Sadly, the previous owner used trees whenever he could to uh, substitute his fence posts. So whenever he was making a turn around a tree or just didn't want to use a fence post, I guess, he would just run the barbed wire on it. And in some places where it's broken, uh, other places where it's still there, these two bottom strands are grown into the tree quite a bit. I'm actually surprised 
because this goes all the way around the tree. I'm surprised the tree hasn't actually died. What the? What the